Hello, and welcome back to the Devil May Cry Bloody Pals painting series. Today, I'll be working on the Scudo Angelo models. There are four of them in total. Scudo Angelos are a type of armored enemy who brandish both a sword and shield. They're very powerful defense and a keen offense. I start off, like I do with every other model, by trimming down the mold lines, thinning the plastic down on certain parts so that I can clean it up a bit. You'll find these mold lines mainly around the creature's rib cage, along the sides of the cape, on some parts of the arms, as well as on the blade. After giving all the models a nice coat of matte black spray primer, I can go ahead and start the process. I start with Mithril Silver and I coat most of the model with it, starting with the shield which has the most surface area. The only parts that I really avoid are the bony protrusions on his elbows, knees, helmet, as well as the back of the shield, which I leave black for the entirety of the paint process. You want to be careful to make sure you get the little tassel metal connector thing around the cape of the Scudo Angelo. It's very thin, but it's, it's still there. Go ahead and paint the ribs as well. When you're all done that, I take out my Underdark Indigo and I go ahead and give a generous coating on the cape. Every paint that I use in this video, I apply in two thin layers to maintain maximum coverage. The cape is very textured and you may not get the paint in every little crevice, but that's all right because that'll uh, maintain a bit of a cloth effect to it. Using a combination of Cambrian Crimson, Purple Worm Purple, Mithril Steel, and my Black, using this combination I make a Metallic Lavender. And I go ahead and I paint the weird protrusions that emerge from the elbows, the kneecaps, the horns, as well as a part of the blade around the hilt and the handle. This will be a good base for what we do later. Up next, I take my Shadow Wash and I generously coat the entire model in it. You can go ahead and see how this very textured, very lively model has all sorts of little crevices for the wash to soak into. Be careful not to let the wash pile up too high around some of the more flat parts such as the ribs and the shoulder pads and use your brush to kind of push it around evenly. You can choose to apply it thick or thin depending on how much you want the depth to appear. You really see the texture on the cape come out when the wash is applied to it. Once that wash has had some time to dry, I go ahead and take out my silver dragon paint, which is kind of like a brighter silver or a platinum. I'm going to be using my dry brush for this part. I put a bit of the silver dragon paint on the brush and then try to get as much of it off as I can onto a piece of paper towel. And then brushing downwards gently, I try to get the raised parts of the shield that would hit the most light. I only do this process 
a little ways down to, to give the illusion that it's catching more light. Make sure to get the little face on the shield, the edge of the blade, and any part of the armor that you think would be catching more light, such as the shoulder pads, the arms, and the tops of his legs. Also give a little attention to the face as well. Next up, I take my red tone, and I go ahead and generously apply that to each of the areas that I had previously painted the lavender color, which includes the horns on the Scudo Angelo's head, the horny protrusions on the weapon, and I kind of thinly fade it into the metal along the top of the blade. The horny protrusions on the elbows and legs are also given this. It becomes something of a dark purple or even red in some parts. I do this to try to mimic the effect that it has in the game. Then I take my underdark indigo and dry brush it very lightly onto the cape. I apply more towards the top and use lighter strokes as I get closer to the bottom to give the effect of shadow. Then I take my abyssal black and go ahead and I clean up the base. I got lots of silver here and there which I'd like to clean up. And like that, Scudo Angelos are done. One of the more simple models, I was able to finish them up pretty quickly. As always, if you like this video, leave a comment and subscribe. Next on my list would be the Riot, the large lizard creature found in the game. As always, I'll see you in the next one.